Good morning. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I'm your host. And today we're going to be talking about the importance of physical touch. Um, I actually had someone to write in an anonymous question and it was literally right on time for the topic that I had in mind for today. Um, of course, when we get new products in, I love to introduce you to the new products that the store has to offer. Uh, Wet had a really great massage oil with aromatherapy. It is on the website, um, but the thing is, all we have in stock is um, what we are going to sell. We're not going to be able to reorder it because Wet has discontinued their product. In the meantime, while I was looking for something else, I found Karma Sutra actually has a massage oil line with aromatherapy. So this is brand new to the store. These are the um, different ones, the different fragrances that they come in. All of these are enriched with vitamin E. So that is awesome. And they are all aromatherapy. Okay, so these are the massage oils that are in stock. We actually have the massage glove that is in stock. This is not anything new. It's just that when I'm talking about the massage oils, I like to talk about the massage glove. Now, what is new is Press Here. Press Here is a book for beginners. So, for example, if you have someone and you would like to give them a sensual massage, you can get the book Press Here and basically learn how to do a really great massage. One thing that I have learned over the years, y'all, is... It's okay to invest in your knowledge because once you know something, you know it. And for example, like my husband right now, um, with the summertime or springtime approaching, my husband does commercial air conditioning, which means that this time of year, he's really busy. So when he comes home, he unwinds. I, I like the fact that I know how to be able to give him a massage to be able to help him to unwind and relax and stuff like that. So the thing is, me uh, making him comfortable is important to me. So that means that I have no problem with investing in the knowledge to be able to learn what we need to do. So I don't have to, and it's nothing wrong with hiring a massage therapist, but if you come at home aching every day, I don't have money to, to pay for a massage therapist to come rub you down every day. I'm going to learn how to go in and press on the certain pressure points and all of this kind of stuff to be able to give you the massage myself. Okay. All right, so another thing we have here at the store, which is already marked down online, is the CBD Rhino Peel. Um, we're talking about massaging. We're talking about relaxing. These pills have been marked down to $15 because we are getting ready for $4.20 here at the store as well. Uh, two other great products to help you to be able to relax are going to be the gummies for the ladies. I have the Pink Pussy Cat and I have the Juicy as Fuck. Both of these are in stock and on the website. Before I get started, I just want to tell Ashley at the Beehive, y'all. Ashley, I love these little earrings. Y'all, I went on the live and ordered these little earrings. I put them on last night. And I was like, oh, these are so cute. I absolutely love them. Love, They're not too big or anything. I love them. So, shout out to the Beehive. And the brand new baby over there. All right. So, let's get into this live, y'all. Um... I'm going to read the question and then I'm going to read my answer and then I'm going to, you know, explain some things to you all. Okay. Because physical touch is very, very important. Anonymous. My husband is out of the country working and I am lonely, Miss Sharonda. I find myself craving someone just to lay under in bed. I talk to my husband every day. We even FaceTime, but I'm desiring to be touched. These feelings are so strong to the point that I'm booking appointments with massage therapists weekly just to be touched by someone. I feel like I'm going to fall weak and cheat just to be held by someone. You can post this, but please remove my name. I appreciate any advice you could give me. I'm looking forward to hearing your reply. All right. So my reply was, okay, you are human. So your desires are very natural. I'm not sure how long your husband will be working out of the country, but I recommend you being transparent about what you're experiencing with him. Okay, so the reason why I express being transparent is because when you are in a marriage or relationship with someone and you having these strong feelings that they are making you uncomfortable, I think it's important that you share that with the person that you with. 
so that they can understand exactly what you're experiencing and what you're feeling. And maybe if they need to say, okay, well, maybe I need to come home a little more often, or maybe I don't need to take on another contract, or maybe I don't need to take on contracts that are so lengthy. You know, in other words, you can, you can solve problems if you know what the problem is, right? But when you don't know that a problem exists, you can't solve that problem, all right? Um, and then I go on and I tell her that self-control is a must when you are a married woman. You have to look at the bigger picture. Is your husband working because you both have a goal in mind? Um, I brought this up because sometimes people take jobs out of town because those jobs pay a lot of more money um, and you're able to do certain things like pay off debt. You're able to uh, pay off your home early. You're able to put children through college. You're able to you know, do certain things that when you have goals in place, right? But... If you have goals in place, sometimes you got to keep your mind on what the bigger picture is. And not only that, you just have to understand the importance of self-control. Okay. I'm going to go back to self-control in a minute. It sounds like you need some hobbies to keep your mind occupied. Also, you have to be real with yourself. For example, I never wanted to sleep alone. My husband doesn't either. So he never applied to jobs that require him to be away from home. I think you just have to get on the same page about what's really important to you both. All right, so let me explain this. All right. When you come to a point in your life where you are self-aware, that means that you know certain things about yourself, okay? When my husband had to go away, I understood that he had to go away. I understood the time period. But I committed to it because I knew myself and I knew that I can maintain self-control over myself and my behavior, especially sexually, because I'm a more mental type of person. So I know in order for me to want to give myself physically to somebody, there has to be a mental connection. This is what I know about myself, right? So what I understood was I couldn't form mental connections with people because I'm not going to put myself in a position to want to give myself to someone physically. That's a part of me being self-aware knowing who I am. When my husband came home, it was understood that he would not be applying for jobs and that keep him away for weeks and months and all of this kind of stuff. We tried it one time. My husband got hired once he got his trade in air conditioning uh, for the company Paradise. Y'all remember years ago when you would go into the gas stations and they would have these slushes called Paradise and they would be like the soft, soft serve ice. My husband got a job working for that company, but the company was based in Texas, right? He, he had to go to Texas. He had to get a truck. He was going to be responsible for certain, so many contracts in Louisiana. But the thing was, he was going to be traveling a lot because he was going to have to be in Shreveport, Monroe, here, 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 there, the other. My husband was gone for two days. And he called me and said, come get me. He was in Texas. I think during this time, I may have been working for child support enforcement. I don't think I was teaching at this time. So I was like, are you serious? He was like, when you get off from work, come get me and bring me some Popeyes. But make sure it's, the Popeyes is from Louisiana. Y'all, I kid you not. I had to stop at the Popeyes on Lake Charles on my way to Houston to go and pick Spencer up. I got off from work. I didn't even go pick up kids or anything. I made arrangements for my kids. I got off from work and immediately got on the highway and went and got my husband. Um, I ended up staying at the hotel that night because they had him in a hotel because everything was closed and he had to turn the people truck in to them the next morning. That morning, we woke up, he went to their home office, turned the truck in, he told them, look, this is not for me. I do not enjoy, I do not like being away from my house. I have a wife and I have daughters, and I don't feel comfortable with being away from home for this extended amount of time, so this job is not going to work for me. And I know a lot of times we take on jobs because, you know, we want certain money and benefits, but you have to also look at what's going to work for your family. Okay, um, I'm going back to self-control. 
again, I explained to y'all, if it was not the only thing that I, that I'm not disciplined in, and I'm just telling you because I know myself, I'm not disciplined with food. Okay. When it comes down to good food, a lot of times I'm going to eat a little more. I'm going to eat a little extra. I'm going to go back again. I'm not disciplined with food. I know this about myself, but when it comes down to my body and physically, I'm disciplined with that. Being that you're going, young lady, and you're actually going to get massages, not with the intent to, you know, relax on wine, but with the intent to just to be touched. I think that is a concern, and I think that a conversation needs to be had with your husband ASAP. You know, because y'all know they have people out there that get paid to cuddle. They, if you look up, they have the people that are cuddlers. They get paid to just cuddle up with people. So, I mean, it's an industry for what she's looking for. But the thing is, we don't want to make decisions and then we regret the decisions that we make because things got out of hand or got out of control. And, you know, we didn't mean for it to go in that direction. So the best thing that you could do is have a conversation with your husband about um, in the ways that you're being neglected in the marriage. And it's not when I'm saying neglected, not in a, a intentional way. But the thing is, these are things that you're craving and they are very important. And for some people, physical touch is very important. For the people who do have self-control, get you a hobby. Get into something. Enroll in some classes. Do some things to help yourself. I'm telling you, when you, when you start focusing on you and you get yourself in hobbies and doing like, I go to flower making classes, y'all. I would go to dance classes. I would do all kinds of things that I'm interested in. Because a lot of times it's not about what's going on. It's about the way you look at it. A lot of times when women have their husbands at home every day, they don't necessarily get to take part in some of the different hobbies and different things that they really enjoy doing because they're so busy doing the day-to-day -day with their family. You didn't express that you have children or a family. You just mentioned that you had a husband, but I can't, you know, I can't make that assumption. But I would also suggest that you get you a hobby. All right, so that's going to wrap up my life for today. Thank you all, Facebook, for joining. Of course, like I said, we have all of these new massage oils in stock, all different fragrances. These are aromatherapy massage oils. That means that the, the fragrance is going to help you to unwind and relax. Then we have the Press Here book. It is in stock here at the store. Um, I'm talking about... It's teaching you the anal anatomy, the penis anatomy, vaginal anatomy, how to actually internal vaginal anatomy, external vaginal anatomy. Like, it's a whole chapter on just exploration. How to be able to give all types of massages. Yes. How to create the space to give a massage. If you want to add toys and props. Back of the leg massages, y'all. Look, this this is some good information. So again, stop by the store, get press here. Um, and I will add this to the website as well so that you can get press here. All right. And we do have the massage gloves in stock as well. You all enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I do have a special guest this week. We're gonna be learning about the advancements of the HIV medication. It's important that we all know this stuff. A lot of times people say, well, I'm not sick. I don't have HIV. Why do I need to know that? We live in a world around people that have HIV. We need to know what's going on with this disease. Because the thing, the reason I'm really doing this interview, in all honesty, is because a lot of funding was put into the gay community when it came down to HIV AIDS because they were the at-risk population. Right now, the at-risk population is black women. Our numbers have skyrocketed. Straight black women. Our numbers have skyrocketed for the HIV disease. So, it, and my following is who? Black women. So it's important that I have this conversation because our numbers are on the rise. And during COVID, a lot of people did not get the testing because a lot of things were shut down. So that means that a lot of people are a lot further along in the disease than they even know because within the last two years, a lot of testing hasn't went on. So it's important that we know our status. It's important that we get physicals. It's important that we know what's going on because it is not a, a death sentence anymore like it used to be, especially when we can catch this virus early enough, okay? A lot of people don't even know that they're giving you shots six times a year versus you taking a pill 
365 days a year. So that means every other month you're going to get one shot. And all you got to do is keep your appointments to get this one shot. And you're good and you don't even have to take pills anymore. And then there's other uh, advancements going on. with this. So what I'm saying is watch the live video so that you can know what's going on. Because we are the average population. And even though I'm a married woman, this year I will be married 23 years. And guess what? Me and Spencer both still go get tested. You're not around people every day, 24 hours a day. And the thing is, a lot of times our men will be like, oh, I don't need to go get tested because my girl went and got tested. No, you still need to get, go get tested for yourself. You need to do this for yourself. Both people need to get tested. You need to know your status. Do not, don't do that. So that's why my husband and I, we go together and we go get tested. All right. Our birthdays are like his is in July. Mine is in August. We get our physicals around our birthdays. Like you got to stay on top of this stuff. All right. So watch the video. Y'all be blessed. Look like I got some people outside trying to spend some money. So I got to go. Talk to y'all later.